You want us to turn her back on again, after we just went through all that trouble to shut her down. But she said she knows where O'Malley is. Well, maybe she was lying. How could she possibly know that? What do you think, Tex? Can we turn her back on again? Disable her guns or something? Not a chance. She's a wreck back here. I'm not even sure how she was operational anyway. Oh, I know. Uh, we could put her inside my head, like O'Malley. I've got lots of extra robot there. Yeah, I bet. And no, she's not that kind of AI. She could only be moved over if we had a similar class of vehicle. Yeah, if only we had some other kind of big vehicle that we could move her into. We can't use the Warthog, because that doesn't have anything... Wait a minute. Tex, the ship? Could we move her into one of those onboard computers? If we set up a hard line, yeah. I bet we could do it. Church, wait! Huh? Church, hold on a second, I got something to tell you! Tucker, what? What is it? I just wanted to say, I got a hard line Tex can use. Bow chicka bow wow. How did you even hear that? I'm like Superman. I know when I'm needed. Take it off, you big orange baby. What happened to you? He's been chasing the dragon. Don't it shut up. He was drugged just like me. That's what I'm saying. He fell off the wagon and shook hands with the devil. Shut up. He's been riding the wave and tripping the Technicolor Dreamscape. Far out, man. Druggy loser. Will you stop, Donut? All you're doing with your stupid anti-drug lingo is making me actually want to try drugs. Choose life, Simmons. Choose it. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Who knocked you out, Griff? Was it those dirty blues? No, some kind of bad person. Bad person? Sarge, I'm not sure Griff knows what he's talking about. Griff doesn't know what he's talking about, eh? Stop the fucking presses. No, I mean specifically right now. Whatever chemical they use to knock us out may be affecting his perception or his memory. And it can cause undue stress to his family and seriously impair his ability to operate a- SHUT UP, DONUT! I wasn't hallucinating. There was some kind of crazy bat thing, and another guy, and they were talking about a kid and a sword. Some kind of deal they made. Okay, wait, is this a joke? This is a prank on me, right? You guys found my Harry Potter fan fiction. This has nothing to do with you, Donut. Okay, right, sure. Well, if the bat person turns out to be a sailor, and the guy turns out to be a bartender, and the sword turns out... Well, let's just say this all sounds a little too familiar. I'm telling the truth! This really happened! Sure, we believe you, buddy! Move to Simmons. Griff has gone mad. Need to kill him ASAP. I'm not crazy! Second note to Simmons. Griff has developed super hearing. Possibly acquired from the bat people. Post note. Original plan still applies. Wait a second! I can prove I'm not crazy because of the bomb! The bomb! Yeah, that's a good way to prove you aren't insane. Just start screaming, the bomb, the bomb. The bomb was there! That's how I could understand what was being said. They needed him to translate. The bomb? You mean that loudmouth guy? Yeah, the enormous ball that's always ready to explode. Okay, seriously. There's coincidence, and then there's outright plagiarism. I'm gonna have to sue somebody. She's all set. Transfer should take a while. Um... Are we sure we want to put her in this ship? Mm, it's still flyable, but I'm going to remove the ignition coil just to be sure. If O'Malley is in her somewhere, they aren't going anywhere without it. You want me to hold it? Are you kidding? Well, thought it was worth a try. Hey, Caboose! How's it going in there? Looks good. Although I have to tell you, the ship looks a lot bigger on the inside than the outside. How's the readout? Well, all the red lights are red and all the blue lights are blue. What about the green lights? Those are black. When the green lights turn green and the red lights turn black, I want you to get a hold of me right away. Uh, okay. Uh, what about the blue lights? The blue lights don't matter. Then why do they... Okay. Okay, thanks, Caboose. Good job. Oh, okay. Hey, Griff. Just tell them where the kid and the sword is, and you can go. What? Andy, is that you? Why are you helping monster people? Hey, gotta make a living. He says someone's coming. Yeah, we gotta go. See ya, Griff! By the way, you look like shit! Zing! Oh, okay, bye. I'm gonna go to sleeping again. Andy was translating between the two of them, too. So if we find Andy, he can tell us exactly what's going on. Sounds like we've stumbled across something totally diabolical. Good work uncovering the plot, Simmons. Thank you, sir. Simmons? I just told you everything! But Simmons was the one that led us to you after he stealthily avoided capture. Avoided capture? They knocked him out first and picked me at random. Yes, a randomness that Simmons used to save the day. He had nothing to do with that. But it was Simmons that found the underground cave. By trying to bury you alive. A tactic that was clearly multi-layered. Once again, Simmons' treasonous insurrection proves to be the glue that holds this unit together. Just wait till you hear about my upcoming assassination attempt.
Oh, don't spoil it. 